Before I direct my questions to you, um, I, I would like to do, take this opportunity to just let everyone know, um, for me to share my experience as a reason law graduate, because I think it's important. Um, so I can't speak on behalf of all graduates, but this is just the general concern that we have as a, law, uh, as a reason graduate. The first thing that we think about is getting a good, uh, a good job with a good uh, wage, really. Uh, why? Because we need to pay back the loans, whether it's from our parents or, uh, or from the government and so forth, um, for to better our lives. Uh, and somewhere along the line, we think about having our own family. But the most important thing right now, the, the reality is, it's about survival. It's even if you get a good job, it's still difficult for you to survive because of why? Because of the high living expenses. Um, and I went back to Malaysia in June and for the first time in my life I feel that living in England is a lot cheaper than in Malaysia. <laughs> it's true. There are extra charges everywhere because of GST and I can't wait. I just stayed there for two weeks and I can't wait to come back here. Um, and recently there was a video that became viral it's called Fire Zabra. And that video is so powerful. It's because it's so sincere. It's real. What's name again? It's what, it's what we're experiencing right now. No, and video. Um, Sorry, it's all mm. it's all okay. At the end of the day, we know that um, even if you get a good job, even after five years of working, we know that we still won't be able to afford a house because that's the, that's the truth. That's what we've seen from our uh, seniors. Um, and we don't doubt that this thing has done a lot of things, and I brought you for that. But even right now, especially for we have yet to see a real change in the government, um, and we need change, and we really need it now. Um, so rather than me asking you what words they can do for us, um, I'm going to ask you what can we do. Um, so, is there? Do you think that is, is there any more um, any other effective ways um, for us young graduates um, to contribute to make the to achieve the changes that we so wish we that we really see um, a lot quicker? That's all my question. Let me to answer now or wait. Thank you very much. That's excellent. Um, and I completely am with you on the, uh, the how, how difficult the difficulties of getting a job and, uh, and getting on. I remember, I, I mean, I, I flew here in Singapore Airlines and I tried to pay for something with Malaysian Ringgit and they refused to take it. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> so for me, that was a first, okay? So we should be worried about the economy. Everybody should be worried about the economy, about the falling ringgit, about GST, all of it. Uh, we are, uh, and not, okay, some of the, it is because of the world, what's happening around the, uh, the world as well. But a lot of it is confidence and, and, and those sorts of issues. So we should be very worried about that. Now, uh, yes, I saw that video and it was wonderful, but she got attacked as well. Huh? But, you, you should ignore these attacks because they, they are targeted attacks. They are done specifically by specific groups. Uh, it doesn't mean that there are a lot of people who feel that way. I think a lot of people applauded what she did and what she said. What can you do? Um, okay, first of all, Bursi is a people's movement. All right? We don't have power, you know. I mean, the people in power are the ones who have power, okay? We can only use power of the voice of the people. Uh, and the power of truth, as I say. And also, we can educate. And that's where it really counts. So what I would suggest as a graduate is this. First of all, have you registered to vote? Okay, good. Well done. Congratulations on that one. Make sure your friends register to vote. Okay? Number two, push your MPs. Who's your MP, for example? In which, who would be your MP? Oh. Okay, uh, or you have, to, you have to try and make representations to other MPs as well, okay? Your MP and other MPs as well. That's something else you can do. Organize yourselves. Don't be afraid to speak up. Don't let it just be this girl, you know, who goes viral and then... Why can't you all speak with one voice, a group of you, and say this is the thing? And I think 
when our leaders come here, and they come here very often because they love London, they love America, they enjoy their trips abroad. So they come here very often. That's where you should try and see them. You should say a group of students want to see you, see them and ask them point blank. Because I know that when they see students overseas, they're quite receptive from what I understand. So you need to take those steps. You need to tell our leaders and MPs and so on that you are very unhappy about what is going on. And you know what? You have the world at your feet. You're the ones who are running social media, who, uh, who, who bring it alive, actually. So do your campaign through that. Get more and more people on board, you know, whether it's by way of petition or whatever it is. But do that. That's what I would suggest. If you ask me what you can do, as a, as a member of the youth, you can do a lot. And your voices, people will listen because they can't afford not to listen because you won't vote for them. So I think you really should use the power of the youth, actually, and, and try and get more and more people. But do these simple things first, which is get your friends to register to vote and, uh, and also try and get, your, uh, get representations to, your, to the uh, uh, members of parliament. Would you be able to do that? And, and when you're, why don't you find out from the High Commission when any of our leaders are, are coming here, you know, just make a representation or stand outside Harrods or something. But you know, um, make your voice count. And what you say is important. And, and also for me, it's, it's not just you, uh, everybody is struggling in Malaysia actually. The GST has hit a lot of people very, very hard. I don't think the, 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 our leaders realize. They think Brim can cover that. They're joking, okay? How much they're suffering. Brim doesn't come anywhere near relieving the, the burdens that they're facing or carrying.